you need to bring a school to if you're gonna go to school in a rural area. So for me personally, I went from New York City to the bumfuck nowhere of Pennsylvania. So the first thing I believe that you should bring to school with you is a flashlight. Now, I know that may seem simple, like, oh, why a flashlight? Are you really gonna need a flashlight? Let me tell you, if you're gonna go to school in a rural area, yes, you do need a flashlight. Cause you never know, one day you're gonna be sleeping and the power just randomly goes out at 2 a.m. Your hours aren't gonna realize till 4 a.m. and they're gonna be knocking on your door at 4.15 telling you to get out the building by 4.30. And you're gonna be walking in the dark and not with nothing but your phone flashlight to help you. And let me tell you, that's not going to help you at all. Nothing's gonna help you at all. So I recommend that you bring a good heavy duty flashlight cause you know I got me my handy dandy flashlight. That this is upside, no it's not, it's upside down here. I got me my big handy dandy flashlight this year. I'm surely gonna take this with me into my sophomore year of college. Cause I ain't, I ain't trying to be walking through the cold and the dark at four o'clock in the morning with my, flat, with my phone flashlight. That sure is how it ain't gonna work this year. The second thing you need to bring with you is a water filter cleaner system whether it be a, a brita filter or however you pronounce it the little water jug container things that has a filter inside of them either you bring that or you keep getting water bottles from cvs Walmart or whatever or either you do one of those two things as long as you have your own clean water to yourself then you good because let me tell you the water at my school was absolutely disgusting when i tell you i i remember one time i had got water from the little soda dispensers and got the you know the little water thing the little water tab like the little pulley that the water the water the water tab they had one of those and i remember i took some i was i drunk a sip of it out i drank a sip of it that was the most disgusting water i've ever drunk in my life and I know some people be like, oh, water is water. No, the fuck it's not. That water was absolutely disgusting. It was just gross. So unless you want to get you some water bottles, or you want to get you a Brita system, just as long as you have your own system of clean water, you'll be all right. The third thing is that you need to bring an open mind. And I say this because like in the beginning of my video, I did say that I went from New York City to the bumfuck nowhere of Pennsylvania. So in New York City, you see a lot of people of color, a lot of diversity, a lot of ethnicities, a lot of races. But then taking that compared to where I go to school in Pennsylvania, you don't really see a lot of diversity or anything. And I say to keep an open mind because maybe you will learn things that you, didn't, you wouldn't learn in the city. And maybe they'll learn things from you that they wouldn't learn being in this rural area of Pennsylvania or whatever rural area you're going to school in. So like for me personally, I remember during my freshman year of college, I seen cows. I learned what like fracking is. I learned like a whole bunch of stuff that I didn't know if I or I wouldn't have seen if I didn't go to school in a rural area. So long story short, just basically keep an open mind as into meeting people because you can learn things from them. They can learn things from you um, when it comes to going to places where maybe they maybe the people in your rural area go places that you never heard of or like you wouldn't think is normal but like it's normal stuff so you have to give it a try and like be open to many experiences and opportunities while you're in this rural area until you go back to your urban area or wherever you're from so those are the three things i believe that you should bring with you to college if you're going to school in a rural area and i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see y'all next time bye